Hi, I'm Justine Ross from Change Hacks. Over the next few weeks, I will be exploring thought-provoking examples and research findings that give insight into how our behaviour and unconscious biases impact our mindsets, attitudes, beliefs and decision-making in both our personal lives and in the workplace. In the words of Isaac Newton, if I have seen further than others, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants. My series of video clips have been predicated on the research by Daniel Kahneman, Dan O'Reilly, Robert Cialdini, Matthew Lieberman, David Rock, Thaler and Sunstein, Malcolm Gladwell, and many other thought leaders. The objective of these short clips is for you to become more curious. By adopting a mindful approach, we can pause, reflect and question how we observe and feel about information presented to us and to become more aware of our blind spots we didn't know existed. Have you ever wondered why smart people do silly things? I sure have. Can we explain why some decisions seem sound but many others defy logic and appear completely irrational? If this is the case, are we hardwired to make mistakes? And can we trace these back to our primal past and long evolutionary journey that has shaped us? During our human history on the savannah, where we fought to survive, our unconscious decision-making process was emotionally and impulsively charged. But is this decision-making process still appropriate for handling not-so-life-threatening decisions we make today? What do you think? Let's look at a behaviour on social media. Perhaps you have some online friends who are those keyboard warriors. Behaviour like this can make us wonder what on earth was driving their behaviour. Perhaps their behaviour reveals our deeply embedded primal roots that still prevail today. This all sounds pretty interesting, huh? Well, buckle up my fellow curious peers because the best is yet to come. Over a series of short clips, I will discuss some fascinating information. I'm so excited to get started, so why not dive right into a simple example that demonstrates a challenge between what we know versus what we experience. Here's a question for you. Can we trust what we see? Perception or reality? Our eyes can easily cause visual illusions as illustrated by the famous Mueller Lyer diagram. Two vertical lines with fins appended pointing in different directions gives the illusion that the lines are of different lengths. However, they are in fact the same length. Simply put, we cannot trust what we see. Dozens of examples of this type of visual illusion are shown to people but the surprising thing is that even after being told about the illusion, they still think the objects displayed are different sizes. It might also be argued that not all biases are bad. With the thousands of deci decisions we make every day, we don't have the time to make a considered deliberation all the time. Quickly reaching for a stereotype may be our best course of action. However, after reviewing research undertaken by psychologists and behavioural economists, the overwhelming solution to overcoming our biases is by having a greater level of awareness of how intrusive it can be. The ability to detect what lies beneath people's words, reactions or their silence is critical. Nobel Prize winner in the area of behavioural economics, Daniel Kahneman, provides tremendous insights into our behaviours and biases. He maintains that our instinctive behaviours and biases have been hardwired throughout our long evolutionary journey and unfortunately make it very difficult for us to identify our own biases. Our first steps are to accept and acknowledge the full extent of our ignorance before looking at possible solutions. Our own mindfulness can be seen as an antidote to the instant urge to react. However, 
Tannerman does give us a glimmer of hope with the pleasing news that others are more capable in recognising and identifying our personal minefields of bias than by self-examination. Importantly, the key takeaway for us is that organisations can encourage a culture of scanning the environment and look out for symptoms of bias by embedding processes to detect our blind spots to biases lying beneath. The series of short clips to follow will try to unpack why our instincts get it so wrong. I look forward to sharing more with you. I'll see you very soon.